What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Before we get into those pitches, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of awesome things lined up, including interviews and sharing pitch grips. And I'll be bringing you the filthiest pitching content on YouTube. So, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And now, on to the filthiest pitches. We're going to start off with Tanner Houck. You know, the incredible Houck. He is one of my favorite young pitchers to watch because of his sinker, his splitter, and most importantly, his slider. That slider was filthy yesterday, and you can see why his slider had a 159 batting average against and a 42% whiff rate. Another exciting young pitcher, Tarek Skubal, was in action yesterday, and he showed off some great fastball command and mixed in bunch of different breaking balls, and they were all filthy. He ended up with 8 Ks in 5 scoreless innings against a great Blue Jays lineup. I mean, things are really looking up in the Motor City with respect to pitching. Herman Marquez was filthy for the Rockies. I mean, look at these dirty breaking balls. It almost reminds me of the one he threw last year, where he flat out killed a man. Just killed a man. Edwin Diaz and Jonathan Loizaga both made my top 10 closers right now list, and you can see why. Diaz looked great, just sick off speed stuff, and then look at the movement on this fastball. Bregman swings at a pitch at his neck. I look for a big year out of Diaz, and not to be outdone, Jonathan Loizaga had a couple filthy change-ups. I'm expecting big things out of Johnny Lasagna and his flaming cheese this year. Kevin Gosman's splitter was filthy as usual. It is one of the best pitches in baseball. Hitters hit just 133 against it and had a 46% whiff rate, and you can see why. Thing is disgusting. Braves fans, you're going to love Colin McHugh. The dude could really spin a baseball. I mean, look at this Frisbee slider. And then he's working in a slow curveball. That's a beautiful pitch. This one was only 65 miles an hour. You can see why he's such a fun pitcher to watch. But my filthiest pitch from yesterday goes to Araldus Chapman and his splitter. We all know Araldus Chapman throws flames. Throws one of the fastest fastballs in the history of baseball. But all those flames may distract you from the fact that Araldus Chapman's splitter just may be the most unhittable pitch in baseball. You heard me right. Hitters only hit 030 against it last year with a 67% whiff rate. Both of those figures are among the best in baseball. This splitter only had an 842 spin rate at 89 miles an hour. It's almost like a fast knuckleball. Knuckleballs are usually around 400 RPMs. Both Alex Wood and Gavin Lux chimed in. Wood saying, no one's going to hit that. And Gavin Lux saying, it's basically a fast knuckleball. Araldus Chapman is really evolving, and don't forget, he also throws a filthy slider. Here are a couple of overlays that show just how unfair his splitter is. Here's an overlay with tails matching Chapman's fastball from that same at bat with his splitter. And you can see they start out in the same plane, and that splitter drops off by like two feet. In fact, check out Jesus Aguilar last year after swinging at a splitter. He looks like he's staring into the eyes of the devil himself. I'm trying to get in touch with Araldus Chapman to get him to show us his grip, and if he does, I will share it with y'all. Because that's the kind of ninja I am.